Walter Freitas, uh, winner of Heat 2, women's 1500, going on to the final. How do you feel about the race? I feel pretty good. My my goal was just making a fair race. I don't want to like empty my gas tank in the first round, but of course at this point all the girls are pretty good. So you just want to go like in a decent pace and make sure that you can move to the next phase since at this point nothing is guaranteed. And I felt pretty good. I had good feelings, better feelings than I had last time I raced here. So I'm pretty happy and excited for Saturday. Yeah, I mean, you ran pretty fast in the, in the regionals as well, right? Yes. Uh, in regionals, it was kind of a surprise. I decided just to go in a comfortable pace and see how I was. I feel like till there I was pretty stuck because I was not happy with my results. I've been running and I've been kind of winning too much you know I feel like to break your limit you gotta go in a fair in a, in a hard race and have some really good girls beating you making making you like just going through your limits and just push that second that you need and I was kind of like I don't know annoyed about that but then I talk a lot with my coach we we kind of like work more about like being happy with the process and all of that so I just came to regionals and I feel like yeah let's let's do it let's just go for a good race and then I ended up running for a nine I was really excited yeah, yeah. Um, why do you think you know you've been running so well this is obviously you know, been a break for you obviously. yeah I feel like there is a, there is a good explanation I train for a year pretty much middle distance I'm with a really good coach, he knows what he's doing, so I feel I started putting some mileage since I'm working with him and just training like a middle distance, not as a sprinter or actually, I don't know, I just, I, before I came to America, I just, you know, I had like kind of an overall training, I did hurdles, uh, I don't know, I worked about playing basketball, just that, you know, like trivial stuff that you do before you come to a, a different level of competition and of course when I came to America, I started working with Coach Franks and he totally knows what he's doing. And, that's pretty good. When did, when did you get here then? Uh, January 2015. 2015. Yeah. And what I mean, what events were you doing when you were back in Portugal? I did pretty much everything. I feel like I even did a high jump. <laughs> now I did like hurdles, uh, 400. I, I went to some international races in the 400 and. 1500 to 800, pretty much 800. I came here as an 800 meter runner. But you feel like the 50 is now you? Yeah, it is. Definitely. I feel really comfortable in this race. And it seems like the race for me. And when, when did you realize that? I don't know. I feel like with the training and all of it, I feel really comfortable in the 15. But I'm going to be honest, I, I still didn't have a good shot in the 8. I feel like I might do a really good time. I run 203 by myself in prelims and SECs. So I feel like I might bring a, a good time in the 8. But right now, 15 is like, I feel like it's my, where I can play with my speed and strength yeah. better. Looking ahead to the final, do you, you know, you have the fastest PR by, I think, quite a bit. Uh, do you think it's going to, are you going to try and make it fast? I don't know. I feel like I want to be make sure that the best 1500 meter in the country will win, and doesn't mean is is me because that's why there's this championship. You know, it's who is gonna be the best this championship. So I want to make you know a fair race, and we will see. It depends if we gotta play tactic. I feel like I can play tactic. If we need to go hard, we will go hard, and we will see who's gonna be the best in that day. You don't know, like. Uh, I would love to be, my, be the next national champion and follow my my teammate Rian Price, but if not, I'm pretty sure like all my family and friends will still love me the same, and I will be the champion for them anyways. Yeah, I mean, you mentioned your teammate. She hasn't really been racing this year. What's what's the situation with her? She was actually she was after uh, Christmas. She was pretty ill actually. She was Ill? she was ill. She she got like she got really sick mm -hmm. and. Then it took a, a little bit to her to come back because she was not actually she was not in a good health condition. She got a really really bad cold, and so it took her a long a, a, a long time that she was expecting. And she's so tough. She always tried to push herself, but then coach he just thought like was the best plan for her. And of course, like we all her teammates, you know, want the best for her. And I'm actually glad they made that because I think she's gonna be so much stronger next year. And I'm really glad to I, next year I'm gonna still be able to work with her I don't know if I'm gonna have eligibility but I'm still gonna be here so yeah I think it was just a plan that fit better fits better for her but of course like we working together we just in the fall was great because we we work together every day and of course like if you have someone fast and make you push every day a little bit further 
you just make it good things, yeah. great things. Do you think was it something specific? It was just a really bad cold. Like what was? Do you know what was wrong with her? She had ammonia. No, I think like something. And, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. She had that, so it took a while just for her to gotcha. she come back. Is she doing okay now? She's awesome now. She's working a lot in her strength, and she's gonna be really really good in cross country i have a lot of good expectations for her and i'm super excited to see her com competing back in the track yeah well, no we'll look forward to having her back but uh thanks for the time and good luck in the final okay <laughs>